Okay, so story time on how I had to fire an employee for acting inappropriate and stealing from me. I hired an assistant. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha if you're new here and thank you for clicking on today's video. So today's vlog is gonna be a day in the life of an apartment locator and I'm just gonna take you guys through the day with me. It is Monday, July 29th, it's 8.43 a.m. I do have tours at starting at 9.30. So I am gonna take you guys through a tour day with me. I'm always really bad about tour about filming on tour days because I never want to take my camera out. I don't want to be awkward, but I'm like, you know what? Most people probably don't care. All of my leads come from YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. So it's like most people like know I'm filming. So I feel like people genuinely won't, won't care. So I need to just not be awkward, but like pulling out my actual camera is always like, <sighs> but I'm starting to get a little more comfortable with filming in public. So we are gonna do it. So I'm gonna take you guys through an actual tour day. Um, I didn't have too much time to do a lot of work this morning. I need to try to send a few follow-ups before I get there, or maybe I'll get there a few minutes early and I can fill, um, I could do a few follow-ups, but I need to do that. But I'm touring from about like 9.30 to like two-ish, and then I'm gonna come home and then I'm gonna do more follow-ups. I at least got some posts up to my socials this morning for my locating account. I'm like, okay, at least I can cross that off the list. Um, but yeah, it's funny because I was gonna make a whole like weekend vlog of being an apartment locator when I was in Atlanta this weekend, because if you guys watch my videos, I am based in Nashville. I'm the team lead here in Nashville, the manager in Nashville, um, but I also work at the Atlanta market. So I did go this weekend and it was a mess. Like the last, the two times, the last two times that I've gone to Atlanta, so much bullshit has gone down. I don't know what it is. I don't know if there's something in the air there, but I'm like, every time I go there, every, like everything falls apart. Like the experiences there, like there's just always like, like it's just like every little thing that could go wrong goes wrong i won't even get all into it but i did film some clips so i am just gonna go ahead and just insert those here just because say good morning like i look so tired i feel like that. when i sent you that photo i was like i could see like my eye one one eye being puffy i was like oh <laughs> Like not what I was expecting. Yeah, no. Not bad. Yeah. Okay. This is good though. Mm -hmm. Okay. The foam is actually really good. Really? Mm-hmm. Brown sugar something. Yeah, the foam is good. It's like not too sweet. Oh, we didn't cheers our drink. Oh. Pretend. Fuck. Uh, I can't. Like I don't know when that's gonna get out of my head. I don't think ever. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. We just left Momo Cafe. Delish. We're ca you. cafe hunt uh, hopping today. Yes. They do what? Oh, two hour validation. Yes. So we're moving the car. We're going to another cafe that's 800 feet away, but we're taking the free parking and we're going to skirt over to the next spot. Save ourselves 10 bucks. <laughs> free parking. Thank you. And what are they like? Oh, that's $17. <laughs> Am I doing it wrong? We only give you a 50% discount. Oh, okay. Hello? It won't go in. Your with facing up. I am. Uh, Why is this? everything a struggle for us? I'm saying. Lately. What the fuck Please is going on? Your with up. Please help us. Hello? Please let me out. With bar this is so stressful. Sorry. Two, one, six, zero, three. My name? Yeah. Zola Bowman. Zola Bowman. I don't live I don't live here. I'm a I was just a guest. To move from there to right here. Yeah, <laughs> Oh 
the lady next door. Oh, it's so cute. Okay. Daydreamer. Okay. Oh, let me see you get it. Oh, actually, this is what it's here. Look at it all. white chocolate. <laughs> One straw. Thank you. I was like, she ran away. Oh my god, it's literally adorable. Um, but yeah, like I do have a story time for you guys that I'll probably share later when I get home because I am running out of time. Yeah, it was like anything that could go wrong went wrong. Like when we got there late at night to check into our Airbnb, we couldn't figure out the codes. I had like a patio off my bedroom and the door wouldn't lock. So I was like, we literally moved the dresser in front of the door. I got the film, like we couldn't get out of a parking garage. Like it wouldn't take our ticket. We took like 20 minutes trying to get out of that garage. My client for the day showed up 30 minutes late to the tour. Cody's texting me that Callie got out, my cat, and her air tag wasn't updating. I got some news about one of the touring agents, which is gonna be the whole story time later, that really set me off. Like there was multiple things that happened with that girl that day. It was just like, literally like, like other, since we were late to the first tour, we threw off the rest of the tour day, so we couldn't get to other build. It was just literally anything that could go wrong was going wrong. And I was like, you know what? <laughs> I might never come to Atlanta again. Cause literally last time I went there, there was a lot of drama too. But anyway, we're back. But yeah, I'm gonna share a, a story time with you later. Basically, um, I'm probably gonna put it in the title, but to keep your interest throughout this video, I had a touring agent and found out that she was stealing money from me. So we will talk about that later. But yeah, I'm gonna make breakfast. I was debating just taking a protein shake. I don't feel like cooking. I'm like kind of in the mood for something savory and I don't wanna spend money. I'm like, do I just go pick something up? Like, I could swing through like Dunkin'. Especially this week and being gone, like obviously I spent more money on food and coffee and stuff. I'm gonna make just like, I wish I had English muffins. I just want like a little breakfast sandwich. I don't have any. I have bagels, but I think I'm just gonna make like a little, it'll take two seconds. I'm just being lazy. I'm gonna make a quick little wrap and then we are going to head out for a tour day. Just got to the first building. So I'm about to head in. This client today, she's from Chicago. Her and her mom literally drove in yesterday and are leaving, I think, tonight. So they're just here to tour for today. So it should be a pretty easy, um, surefire deal. So let's go. Okay, we just finished up building number one. She did really like it. Didn't really have any cons for it, so that's great. So I love when like the tour day starts off and you already have something that they're like, yeah, love that, love that. I was like, any cons? She's like, not really. So I'm like, perfect. So it's always nice when that happens because it's like a worst case scenario. If they don't love anything else the rest of the day, you already have an option that they love. So I'm like, perfect. But now we are 30 minutes early. That tour was super, we started a little early because we both got there early and it was super quick. So we're about to be 30 minutes early. I tried to call the building ahead of time to see if that was okay. They didn't answer. So we're just gonna show up and hope for the best. So see you guys if you Two complete so the first building we were in like kind of downtown sober area this building was in berry hill now we're about to head to germantown 
last one early and then like they couldn't take us for like 20 minutes i did steal a coffee not steal obviously they let you have them but i got a coffee to try to get me through the day lord knows i need it i was like make an account and then do the little classes for free and then especially with the special coming down to 15. a lot of square footage for the price Each building is progressively becoming her favorite. So we just love the Germantown one. She still really liked the one that we saw in Berry, Berry Hill, but she liked this one too. So I think this one's her favorite. So now we're heading over to a building in the, am I tripping? Where's my phone? In this, oh, in the Sylvan Park location. So let's go there next. Been so gloomy today, and it looks like it's about to start raining. And I really don't feel like dealing with the rain, so hopefully, it can hold off for a little bit longer. Well, this is Sacramento, California. What's up? I am trying to. Sylvan Park property, but now we're in WeHo, Wedgwood, Houston for our last tour. So let's see what the overall choice is going to end up being. It's starting to get like muggy now that it was raining and hot, so now it's humid. Okay, four days over, it is 118 because yeah, that last tour, all the tours today were actually pretty quick and we were like early for everything. So happy, we're done. She really liked that Sylvan Park one, the fourth one that we went to. So she said that's the one she wants to apply for. She literally needs to move in next week. So let's get you all situated, girly. Now I'm gonna head home, I can have some lunch. I have quite a bit of computer work to do. So we're gonna head home. It is starting to rain again, which is super ugly, but yeah, let's head home and have some lunch. Home now, I'm doing some follow-ups. I actually really didn't have too many calls today, or any, I should say. I'm just doing follow-ups with some new leads that came in, some clients that I need to, <laughs> some clients that I need to follow up with and some people that toured that I'm just checking in on everything. So yeah, I'm just doing some follow-ups. <sighs> it has been a day. But yeah, I'm just going through and yeah, I have a few tours to schedule, things like that. So I'm just going through, made myself some little like sticky notes this morning of some things I didn't want to forget to do today. So I'm just going through and really the last real thing I have to do is follow-ups. Like the tours, I posted the content that I need for the day and then I filmed some content as you guys saw today. Yeah, it's really just following up. Like I said, I don't really have any calls to take, but I'm gonna do this. And then I do still have a story time to share with you guys. So we will get to that because it's crazy. So let me finish up these follow-ups and then we'll do a call. It was so gloomy and like rainy. So I'm happy this sun's actually starting to come out. Oh uh, yeah, I also need to go in and check in with some people that have applied, but I haven't like, haven't gotten approved yet or sent their lease. So I just need to like kind of go through and like just touch base with some people as well. How many deals I have so far this month? I have nine 
so far, but then I have a quite, I have nine so far, but then quite a few people that have toured and said they're gonna apply, they just haven't pulled the trigger yet. So hopefully we'll end the month with more, but I think I hit my commission goal at least. So I'm not including anybody else's size, but I always aimed it make at least $10,000 a month in commission. Um, <laughs> I was telling, talking at the group chat about the story time I'm gonna tell you guys. And I was saying how I was gonna film it for YouTube, make a story time out of it. And <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna make a fake a thumbnail and um, clickbait it. So I just made like a really funny, like fake thumbnail and I sent it to them and I was like, perfect. My thumbnail for this video is done. I'll show you guys. <laughs> Could you imagine if you guys like logged into YouTube and saw this as my thumbnail? <laughs> Back in the day energy. Um, so yeah, that's what I was procrastinating doing. I was like, Keisha, get your ass to work. And it's 3.30, get your ass to work. It's like, nobody wants to work these days myself included. So let's finish up these follow-ups and then I will give you guys this. Oh, I actually have a life update, which also will probably be in the title of this thumbnail. So we'll go through a life update and then we'll go through a story time. So we'll get into it, the chatty part of this vlog. <laughs> so I've already told the story a million times to people. So I want to film it for TikTok too. So I'm like, will you guys be mad? If I, so it's funny because sometimes I want to film things for like a TikTok and I feel like I need to like look in the camera, but then it's like I feel bad if I'm not looking at you guys, but I still want you guys to hear the story, but like I just genuinely don't feel like sitting here and filming it twice. But I'm always like, oh my God, are they going to be mad if I'm <laughs> like looking at the camera for TikTok and I'm like, Asia, nobody probably really cares. But I'm like, I really don't want to film it twice. So I think I'm going to film it for TikTok and then I'm going to have it propped up here. But I will give you guys a life update. So I hired an assistant which i'm so excited for um i need to really focus this week on drafting up her contract and getting everything set up for her to start but she's going to start on monday next week which i'm really excited for so she's mainly going to be helping me with my locating stuff and mainly going to be helping me with content so like helping me film i think we're going to meet up like once a week to film so she's gonna help me film she's gonna help me edit help me post things like that um, we'll probably just like start off with some duties and then the more we build like trust and we're on the same page about things and she understands kind of what I'm looking for, we can like kind of work our way up to like her doing more and like me giving her more leeway. But I'm really excited to help someone help me film and help me really edit because I like feel like I was mainly going to help, I was mainly going to have her help me with locating stuff. But I was like, you know what? I also have my like personal stuff, like my YouTube channel and my own socials that I could use help with too. So she's also gonna help with that. So she's gonna be part time. She's gonna be about like 10 to 20 hours a week, probably somewhere between like 15, around 15 ish. Um, and most of it's gonna be helping me edit. So I'm like, I feel like it's gonna be really good for me because I'm gonna be able to crank out a lot more content on like all of my platforms because I just literally have so many platforms right now. <laughs> so it's really hard to be like fully consistent on all of them. Um, so I think it's going to be really helpful to have someone, even if she, like without the posting part, just have someone help me edit or like YouTube videos and have her just like rough cut, like a vlog like this, she would rough cut it for me. And then I'll go through and add the final edits and then like TikToks and reels and stuff. So I'm like really, really excited to help her, to have her help me. And there's also been like a lot of fun content ideas that I want to do on my locating accounts, like my Instagram and TikTok that I just like need assistance with so I think it's also gonna be really nice having her there because it's gonna if we have like a set you know five six hours a week for filming it's gonna really force me to like plan content out and like force me to like get my creative juices uh flowing and get everything done so I am so excited for her to start and like it's so funny because I never thought I would be at the point in life where I'd have an assistant but here we are so super excited for that so we have touring agents to help with touring and I have an assistant to help with content and stuff so my main focus can be really on like filming content but also mainly just on following up with clients and leads and being like really good about staying consistent on that end because that's like literally the most important part in this job in my opinion and then I can also focus on um working on like helping get some more like buildings and contracts and stuff like that so I think it's just in like emails like it's just really gonna help me like open up more time in my schedule to do things but also like it's gonna help me, this is gonna be really helpful. Like having the touring agents has been so helpful to help me like, I don't have to be out touring all the time at myself. Like I have people to help so I can like have more days at home to film and to edit and to do other things and like keep up to date with my follow-ups and stuff. And then it'll be nice to have her take off. Like editing is such a big load. And like I go through phases where I'm either like loving editing or I just don't wanna do it. 
And like I get, like I said, like pretty much all of my leads are from social media or all, literally all of my leads are from social media. So it'll be nice to have someone that's gonna be there helping me because then that'll force me to be consistent, which is only gonna help me bring in more leads because when I'm consistently posting, I'm bringing in a ton of leads. I'm able to share leads with my team because I'm like, I get more than even I can handle. But then when I fall off, like I still get leads, but I don't get like, I'm not getting like a surplus anymore and I'm not getting enough to share. So it's just gonna really help me bring in more leads to myself and then just to my team, which is gonna be helpful. And then it also leaves me to more time to be helpful for my team because people like I have to call me with questions and want meetings and stuff, especially now that we're building up the team and it's like, I just need more time in the day. So super excited. She's gonna start next Monday on, I think August 5th is the date. So I'm very excited for that. My camera, oh, is my camera battery? Oh, I don't think my camera, I don't think I charged my other battery. Okay, we might have to come back for the story time in a bit. I think I don't, I don't think, from Atlanta, I don't think I charged my camera battery. Shit. Okay, hopefully the battery is charged enough. Okay, so story time on how I had to fire an employee for acting inappropriate and stealing from me. Gotta love it. Luckily, I have a lot of texts and receipts for this story. I have hired on different touring assistants to help with touring because it's hard for me to be in a lot of places at once. So I've hired on quite a few people to assist me with touring. There was this one girl who was always available. She wanted to actually be a locator when we first initially spoke, but I, I told her we could just kind of like feel it out and like, let's start off as a touring agent and, and see if it's possible to get you on as a locator. So she was only on for a month and I just wasn't getting the best vibes from her. She was definitely like overstepping on her role. Like, I was like your only role as a touring assistant is to show up on the tour to show face at the buildings so I can get paid and that's it. But she was like following up with my clients, asking me to schedule tours for my clients. And I'm like, who are you to ask me to schedule tours for my own clients? She would like text me when she was done with a tour. And like, if I didn't answer right away, she, she would text me again, not too long later and be like, um, am I gonna get paid for this? Like, yes, give me, a, give me a minute, you will get paid. Like, hold on, because I would usually send a payment immediately after the tour, like the same day as the tour. So I'm like, chill. So she was already kind of irritating me just for different reasons. She was like begging for hours and begging to be full time as a locator, but I just wasn't getting the best vibes from her. I'm trying to think of how to best sum this all up. So last weekend, so two weekends ago, she had a tour for me where she had toured six buildings for me for a client. I offered her a higher pay because the buildings were a little more spaced out. She texted me at the end of the tour day and was like, okay, we're all set. I sent her the payment. I texted the client and I was like, hey, how'd your tours go? And they were like, oh, it was great. But um, but once I get to tour this building, I think I'll be able to make my decision. I think it's gonna be my favorite. And I was like, oh, did you not get to see it today? Cause it was on the tour list for the day. And she said no, because they couldn't take her. So I immediately texted the touring agent. I was like, hey, I just texted the client and they said that you weren't able to see this building. And she's like, oh yeah, 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 no, no, but um, we're gonna go see it tomorrow. So I was like, okay, that's kind of weird. Like you didn't mention it to me. You didn't like tell me you were rescheduling it. You took the money for it. So I was kind of like, okay, whatever. I just kind of like brushed it off. So then she does the tour with that client. Yeah, this is a Monday. And then she texts me that night and is like, hey, can you schedule a tour for 5.30 tomorrow for this building? Um, and then she said that the client had texted her. And I was like, why are you like, I didn't believe that the client had texted her because she had told me before that she was like following up with clients after the tour. And I'm like, that's literally not your job. Um, and I'm like, who are you to tell me to schedule tours for my own clients? But I went ahead and scheduled it anyway. The tour was for 5.30 on Tuesday. Come 6.30, she texts me, says that they're done. And then at like 7.45, 8, she's like, am I gonna get paid for this today? Like again, relax, when have I ever not paid you? So I sent her the payment and I gave it was $15. Keep that in the back of your mind. So I'm like irritated that you're double texting me. I'm irritated that you're overstepping. Thursday morning, she texts me and she's like kind of giving me sass about wanting to be a full-time locator. Like, well, we discussed this and I was like, yeah, and I told you, like, I would let you know. Um, and like I said, I was like already kind of sick of her, sick of her at that point anyway. I'm like getting like on my last straw. So that's Thursday morning. Friday morning, I'm already like, I'm in Atlanta because I work our national in Atlanta market and I'm already kind of like in an irritable mood because there was just like so many things going wrong on that day. And I get a text or I get a phone call from someone that's on my team that actually used to be an assistant manager at one of the properties that this touring agent was going at that morning. So she tried to call me. I was like, can't talk right now. And she was like, no worries. Um, I just wanted to send this to you because um, I know you're already kind of like on your last straw with this girl. The manager that is at one of the properties that the touring agent had toured at texted the other girl on my team that used to be the assistant manager there 
and said, hey, we just had an, an Aptamigo locator or touring agent come by and she was not great. Do you think it'd be appropriate for us to tell Keisha? She said, yes, definitely tell Keisha or I can, up to you. She, she's the national region manager, so that's very helpful for her to know. And he said, yeah, if you can tell her blank, did not come did not come dressed the most professionally and she was on her phone the whole time on tour and barely said anything. So I'm sitting there and like my client for that day was running late. So I immediately called the building and he's like, hey, how's it going? And I was like, I mean, it was good. Like what's going on? So he puts on the new assistant manager that actually did the tour. And she said that she was like, when, I, when she came in, I immediately noticed her outfit was inappropriate. She said she was wearing a crop top a crop top to go do a job, was wearing a crop top with skin tight pants. She said that her under boob was out the entire tour. So the whole tour she kept pulling it down her top, but like she was like, I could literally see her boob. So already I'm like, that's embarrassing. Why are you dressed like that for a job? And then she said she like, every time she looked at her, she was just on her phone. She wasn't engaged. She said they walked into one of the units and she asked her if they were hiring. So like asking for a job, in front of the clients that you're here with while you're also literally wearing a crop top. So like BFFR, like be fucking for real right now. So I'm like talking to her, that's like the short gist of that conversation. And I'm like, I'm fed up. Like that was already like, I was already kind of sick of her. That was my point where I was like, okay, she, after this weekend, she will a hundred percent be off boarded. I'm over it. And then <laughs> fast forward. So she was, that day she had toured three buildings with a client for me. And then she was touring another client with me after that that had four tours. So she texted me at like 11.38, said done with the four with blank, the client in here awaiting the other for the next client. I said, great, an hour later. Mind you, okay, keep this in mind, an hour later. She said, I'll let you know when I finish the rest. Two hours later, she says, done. I said, I'll send the Venmo. She said, thanks. Then I asked her about like a form. I was trying to fill, have her fill out like a four, an updated form. Um, and then I went in to look at the tour because I can see like all the tour notes and everything. And I noticed that like it wouldn't let her like mark one of the tours as done because it was like an hour and a half before that tour time was even supposed to start. So I was kind of confused and I was like, wow, they like, I was confused. I was like, did they even go to this building? So I texted her and I was like, did you guys make it to the apartment building? She said yes. And then answered my other question about the form, but she said yes, that they made it there. So I'm like, okay, they must've just been flying through the tours if they were able to knock them all out that fast. Again, didn't really think much of it. So I sent her the Venmo. I sent her, it was like $105. She likes the payment, okay? She sees it, she likes it. I text the client and I said, hey, how are your tours today? Long story short, the client says, hey, we actually ended up having a pretty big emergency and we're unable to come. I typed the whole text to you, blah, 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 blah. So the client tells me that they weren't able to come. So, I'm like, wait a minute, I just paid her to show you four buildings today and you're not even in the state of Tennessee because you didn't even get to make it into town. So immediately I texted the touring agent and I said, I texted blank, the client, to ask about the tour and she said she didn't make it to tour, sent her the screenshot and said, so, you, so can you send $60 of that back? Because out of the 105, 60 of that was to tour this client. So I'm like, now I'm fuming. So I'm like, now I know that you have lied to me and you've also stolen my money. Like, so she liked the payment, acknowledged it was sent, liked it. Didn't say, oh, hey, by the way, didn't get to tour her. So I'm like, she texted me hours apart, pretending that she was touring this client. And just for me to find out this client literally never made it into the state of Tennessee. And like happily took my money. So now I'm like furious. Cause I'm like, you're a liar and you're a freaking thief. So I'm like fuming, I'm pissed off. I'm like with one of the other agents who's my friend, we're in Atlanta together. We face some of the other agents and I'm like filling her in and I'm like, what, like, what is going on? And then we're like, to be able to fake a whole entire tour day is like, you had to have been so comfortable to do that. So then we're like, there's no way this is her first time doing this. So I start thinking back to over the weekend before where she took the money, didn't tell me that they had to reschedule a tour and then told me that that client wanted to schedule another tour on top of that. So I was like, do we think that she actually went to those tours? So I called those two buildings. I called the one that she said the client had texted her and asked to schedule it. Call the building, ask, I'm like, hey, I know this is so weird, but like, did this client ever make it into the tour with a touring agent? They check and they say, no, um, we could see the tour was scheduled, but it was never marked as completed, which means they didn't come. So all of our draws on the floor. So I'm like, okay, that was Tuesday. Of, and this is all Friday, so that was Tuesday of this week. So I'm like, 
you lied to me and took my money. And that was also the day that she texted me like at 6.30, like an hour after that tour would have been done and then double texted me asking for the payment. So it was like, you are double texting me for money that you did not earn. So then I called the building I get that she was supposed to see on Monday that was rescheduled from Saturday. Asked the same thing. They were like, nope, we don't see that as complete. I was like, was this tour ever rescheduled from Saturday? She said no. Cool. I text the touring agent again. So I also just found out that the client never toured blank or blank. Can I have that 35 back? And then I sent her a Venmo request. She fulfilled, oh wait, did I even say? I don't even know. After the, she sent this, after I asked for the $60 back, she sent the $60, but she never said anything. She just sent it back. She didn't say anything. After I asked for the 35 back, I sent a Venmo, I sent a Venmo request. She, sent the money back immediately, but never said anything. No excuse, no defense, nothing. Guilty as hell. So at this point I'm like fed up and I was like, you know what? I've already kind of wanted her out. I didn't think it was this bad. Like I was like, okay, she's kind of irritating to me and she's like overstepping, but like, I didn't think it was this bad because let me give you this timeline. She had a tour for me Saturday, rescheduled one of them for Monday, allegedly, which we know never happened, never went to that tour Monday. So lied to me Saturday and took extra money. Monday rolls around, never made up for that tour, pretended that she went. Tuesday added on a f another fake tour that never happened and texted me to get an extra little $15. I was like, you're doing all this for like $15. Come on. Double text me for money. Thursday giving me stats through text and asking me to be a full-time locator. And then Friday showing up to work in a crop top and stealing 60 more dollars from me. So at this point I like craft a text to her cause I'm like, she's done. I call the person that does the onboarding and stuff. I was like, can you, I was like, are you busy? She said, no. I said, can you offboard her right now? She said her email and her account are inactive. Great. So I sent her this text. I said, a manager at one of the buildings that you toured today reached out to one of the other agents today and wanted to let me know that your outfit was inappropriate and that you weren't engaged during the tour. Screenshot attached. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, well, hold on. Look at that. I spoke on the phone with them and they said you were wearing a crop top and very tight pants and that you were asking them for a job during the tour in front of the clients and were on your phone the whole time and not paying attention. That is grounds for being offboarded. Also, what I forgot to mention is I texted the client that she had claimed she toured that day who said that they never made to town. And I was like, did you talk to the touring agent? And she said, yes. And I was like, can you send me the screenshot? So she sent me the screenshot where the touring agent texted her and said, hey, this is blank. Um, I'm here at the property waiting for you. Look forward to meeting you. And she said, hello, so sorry. We canceled our trip. I sent out emails and texts. I'm so sorry. So she had known, but still proceeded to text me throughout the day as if she was touring. And my thing is like, you just didn't think that I was ever going to find out. Okay, let me get through the rest of the text. I said, I had the client send me a screenshot from today showing that she told you she wasn't making it. You then proceeded to text me as if you were touring and text me after saying it was complete. Happily accepted a payment for work that was not done. The client has, the client hasn't been responsive. So I decided to call the two other buildings who both also confirmed that those tours never happened. I'm sure there are other tours that were paid out but didn't happen. Also double text me for payments, including that one building, knowing that I was paying you for a tour that never happened. The fact that you were just asking about being a locator, knowing that you had stole from me two days prior is diabolical. I spoke with the higher ups and you have been off boarded effective immediately. The tours for tomorrow have been transferred to other agents because she had two more tours scheduled the next day. Um, actually the guy that she had toured that morning was actually looking at two more the next day that she had been scheduled for. And then another client, your email and account are now inactive. Please don't reach out to any previous clients of mine. Assuming the client puts in an application, the one that she had toured that day, we'll call it even for the money that was stolen from me because usually they get like the base pay. And then when the client signs, they get a bonus depending on how much we make from it. So and I was like, basically like, instead of you getting a bonus, cause now I have another touring agent touring from him. I'm like, don't assume that you're getting a bonus. We'll just call it even because you're a freaking thief. So that is the story time. But I'm just like, to me, it's just so crazy. Cause it's like, how did you think I wasn't gonna find out? Like, I didn't think much of it from the client early in the week. Cause sometimes people ghost and this client never said anything to me again. They're probably like, what is she talking about? All these extra buildings. Like I never went to these, like these aren't scheduled. Like what the heck is she talking about? So you're making me look stupid. And then the, you just didn't think that the client wasn't going to tell me, like I wasn't going to follow up with them and they weren't going to tell me that they literally never even made it into the state of Tennessee. So yeah, she never responded to that text, never had anything to say. Now I have to be extra annoying and monitor the other touring assistants even 
closer because now I'm like, can I trust anybody? Like, you just really can't just be, you really just can't trust people. Okay, I did get Keisha here on the webcam. Hi. So I have an update on this story. So all of this happened on Friday. And then never heard from her, never said anything. And then on, yeah, shoot, of course, coach is coming home. I'm just opening the dogs are crazy. Hopefully you can hear me. Yesterday, she sends me a text, which was Wednesday. So literally like five days later, you don't say anything at all. And then you send me this text. So whenever people sign in a building, the touring agents get like a notification being like, oh, this client signed here. So she sends me the screenshot that says that like a client signed in a building. And it wasn't even one of my clients. It was someone she toured that was another agent's client. So she had the nerve to just send me that screenshot. And then she said, good morning, exclamation point. That's exciting, exclamation point. How do you have nothing to say about being called out for being a liar and a scammer and a thief? And then you send this text. I was livid. I literally texted that touring agent. It was like, if she reached out, she like, I told the whole team, I was like, do not respond to her. If she reaches out, even my manager, I told him the story. His jaw was on the floor. He was like, that is insane. He was like, just don't even communicate with her. Even though I had to just send something. I like couldn't just let it sit there. So I said, that is exciting. Natalie and Alex signed and you won't be receiving a single penny. So regarding, or talking about, so talking about the client that, has, that she just texted me about and then the client that I had told her when she tore it on Friday to not expect that payment because we'll call it even for her stealing. So she has a nerve to send that. So I wanted to add that in this vlog as part of the story time because like I said, I thought that was insane. So yeah. So yeah, that is the story time. So now I'm like nervous. Like I'm trying to figure out when I hire, when this assistant starts. I hope this lighting wasn't like terrible the whole time. I think it's like super right i'm like nervous when this assistant starts because i'm like i'm gonna figure out how to track her hours so i'm not getting scammed this is my biggest fear it's like i mean obviously this is different because it's like who would fake a tour you know or a whole tour day but yeah so that was crazy but it is 4 46 i'm about to go feed the pet and then go lay on the couch for a little bit get tired of work so i'm like i don't know how much longer i'm gonna be doing work things so we'll see but as of now i'm like over it being if i want i don't know i think i could just end the video here like i don't really have much else going on for work today because like, i don't really have any calls or anything to share with you guys so yeah i think i'm just gonna end this video here so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to like comment subscribe do all the things and i will see you guys again in another video all right bye guys oh i can't let them take my soul no 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 I can't let him take my soul. Take my soul. Take my soul. Take my soul. Take my soul.